I spent a very enjoyable week wearing the Patek 5270. The 5270 is a direct descendant of Patek's first perpetual chronograph, the reference 1518. It was launched 70 years after that first reference, and you can clearly see the lineage in the way the dial is laid out, with apertures for the day and month at 12 o'clock, and the date and moon phase at 6 o'clock. They just improved the readability by putting a leap year indicator and a day-night indicator away from the subdials. The blue color on this dial combines beautifully with the applied white gold hands and markers. It's a difference between this dial and the prior version of the dial on the 5270G001, where the markers and hands were black gold. The finishing was exquisite. Looking at the anglage and the chamfers and all the holes into which the screws were fitted, it is the highest grade finishing that I think Patek makes. The case size at 41 millimeters actually fit my wrist really well. It's the largest perpetual calendar chronograph made by Pedek to date. And the case thickness at 12.4 millimeters makes it actually really comfortable on the wrist. The most disappointing feature was the chin found on the dial. This is a depressed region found at six o'clock of the tachometer scale. Precision and accuracy are pretty important features of a chronograph. And in this case, the chronograph seconds hand does not reach the seconds track. So being able to accurately read the seconds when you stop the watch between 27 seconds and 33 seconds, it becomes very difficult. I think it's a superb watch for the money. The movement really is as good as it gets out of Switzerland. Because of that movement, I was really impressed with the way it operated. The performance is superb and I don't think you can exceed it in terms of a modern chronograph caliber.